What's up everyone? Today we're going to do a quick video presentation on DNS resolution. DNS stands for dom Domain Name uh, System. The purpose of DNS is to translate uh, a domain such as google.com, think of a website, into an applicable IP address that the computer can use because they can't remember names, they only use numbers. So, let's say you wanted to determine the IP address for a particular target first thing you would need is a range, an externally facing IP address range to further scan, um, generally for a port scan. So to, to be able to determine that we have a few utilities, this is Kali Linux, a few command line utilities that we can utilize for DNS resolution. The first that we will be going over is called DNS Enum. And we can do TAC H for the help options on that. And we see how it's used up here. DNS enum options and then the domain name. Okay, we have additional options um, down here. I like to do tac tac enum, and that's generally the one I use most often. So we will we will go tac tac enum, and we'll say foxnews.com. And if you look we have applicable IP addresses for foxnews.com so they've got something hosted on 66, 61, 161, 16 and 17 and you have additional IP addresses associated with Fox News and then you've got their mail servers we'll go down here additional information um, some of these IP addresses are um, for the radio as you can tell okay a Latino the Fox News is pretty large so we were able to get a lot of information by using DNS enum how about DNS map okay let's do foxnews.com give it just a few seconds here and it will spit out some very valuable very useful information while that's working on that one, we'll do DNS recon, TAC H for the help options. I like to do TAC, uh, well, V's normally for verbose, but not in that instance. V's for show attempts in the brute force modes. I like to do uh, D for domain, occasionally range if I already have an IP address range for reverse lookup. That's outside the scope of this particular tutorial. So we'll do TAC D. Occasionally, um, it's good to do TAC TAC XML if you want to save a file or whatever records were found in an XML format. So, got a phone call here. My apologies. Okay. So we go back to this one, and it's still populating IP addresses. We'll go back here, and we'll do D for the domain, foxnews.com. And we are getting applicable IP addresses. Again, additional information. It's very good. Okay. We can also do a who is. My apologies about my phone ringing twice. Okay, foxnews.com. And who is was able to tell us some additional information. They're registered with Mark Monitor Inc. And the who is server is who is .monitor .com. Uh, Additional name servers. Creation expiration date, June 20th, 20th. Hey, that's my birthday. Okay. So, go down here. And it is still working. Both of them are still attempting to uh, enumerate additional information. So, while they're both working, we will acquire root privileges and a terminal. We'll go up to applications. Kali Linux. 
information gathering, DNS analysis. DNS enum is a really good one. DNS recon is great as well. DNS map, um, it's applicable. I don't use it as often. Let's do DNS tracer. DNS tracer, help options, doesn't look too difficult. We'll do verbose. Alright, and we were able to get some additional information about Fox News. So, as you can tell, um, if you have a default installation of Kali Linux, you have plenty of resources available to do DNS resolution to be able to determine what IP address range your target is on. So, and that one's still working. It'll take a while, but we'll close it out. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. Uh, like, leave a comment, questions. I will do my best to get back to you if you have suggestions for videos in the future. Um, I may uh, embark upon those suggestions as well and make videos. Uh, so just leave me, some, leave me some questions and comments. You're the reason I make these videos. That way that information is readily available and you don't have to scour the internet. Um, monotonously attempting to learn so many different techniques and tools and utilities from a large variety of sources so we'll try and start adding more and more um, Kali Linux tools in this YouTube channel so everyone I thank you very much have a